does a bigger monitor make you a better developer? This is something I asked on Twitter and the responses were absolutely wild. There were thousands of likes and hundreds of comments ranging from yes to no to it depends and what is a better developer? Is it someone who codes more efficiently with better code or just someone who has more performance and delivers on a project faster? I wanted to explore this in today's video and the only way we can do it is by grabbing ourselves a Samsung G9 Odyssey. This monitor is absolutely insane. It spans 49 inches with a curvature of 1000 R and this is close to the uh, I think curvature of the human eye. It also has 5000 pixels by 1440 or something ridiculous where it's almost like having two 29 inch monitors back to back. So we'll be able to have VS Code on one side and our website on the other. And we'll see if this improves the performance of us delivering work as a developer. I'm excited. My name's Adrian and I do videos around design and development. So if you guys haven't already, hit like and subscribe and let's just jump straight into it. This monitor is by far the largest I've ever seen or used. It was a mission just to get it into the car. It wouldn't fit into the boot, but I managed to put it between the front seat and the back seat and eventually got it home. As you saw in the unpacking, there was a lot to it. And since it's so heavy, you don't want to drop a single thing, but we're all set up now. So let's see if we can develop a website and see if there's any difference in terms of development. Let's check out a real representation of this monitor by running it up on OBS so that you guys can see what I'm seeing. From here, you can see just how much extra room I'm getting from both VS Code and the website on WordPress here. I get a lot more vertical and horizontal space with way more pixels to allow me to see and do a lot more. Of course, we don't have to run at such a zoomed out resolution. We could, for example, also zoom both of these in so that we get more space so we can also view this monitor from a distance. And doing so means that we can work for a better amount of time. But of course, if we're working for long periods, we should definitely still take breaks. All right, so I've spent some time coding and I've spent some time doing a couple of other activities. And what I've found is that, yes, I do feel like I'm a lot more productive on this monitor. The main reason for this is that instead of, say, when I'm working on a laptop, and I have to continuously swap and minimize between my code and say maybe the app or the website I'm working with. Right now, I don't have to do that. This one change alone has significantly improved how I'm working. It means that when I do minimize and maximize between applications, sometimes I lose that flow state that we achieve when we're doing programming. This is where we're really in the zone of what we're doing and we're outputting lots of code immediately. Whenever I have to minimize and maximize, I find that I lose a little bit of that concentration. So by not having to do so, this monitor is allowing me to work more efficiently. The other aspect of this is the aspect where when I do minimize and maximize, I might miss something in my code. It might be a variable name. Maybe I don't spell it properly, or maybe I just have a syntax error, which could cause the application to crash in the future. By not having to minimize and maximize, I'm stay, staying focused on my code. And this means that I'm actually getting less errors happening. And this means that I'm coding faster. I'm spending less time maximizing and minimizing, which means that I'm coding more efficiently. And it means that I'm delivering my work faster. So on all of these accounts, I do feel like, yes, I'm a better developer with this bigger monitor. There are other benefits to having a large monitor as well. And I'm not too sure if there are productivity benefits, but it's certainly nice to be able to have a movie or a video playing, or even a tutorial on the bottom right of your screen while you're doing your work on the left hand side. Of course, gaming is ridiculously good on this monitor as well. And when you're doing your code and you're more efficient and a better developer, you're able to finish sooner and game earlier, which is always a lot of fun. I also do a lot of video editing, and I can tell you for sure that running Adobe Premiere on this 49 inch monitor is an absolute dream. I'm able to see my whole timeline here, and I'm able to edit this way faster. So while this isn't really development related, it definitely helps me as a creator. Another thing I notice is that I used to run two monitors back to back. 
with maybe a 29 inch on the left and a 29 inch on the right. And one of the problems I had when I worked for a long period, say over four hours or longer, is that I'd get a lot of neck strain, especially when I would look from the left to the right monitor, monitor and vice versa. And this, I'm sure, isn't just related to me. It's a general theme that when you turn your head a lot from left to right, you're going to get some neck pain. And now having a single screen where mostly it's curved and I can sit back a little bit further and see a lot more, I'm no longer having that strain on my neck. And this definitely is an improvement and I think would help any developer or even designer when they're doing their work. Another thing I notice is that when we're developing for, say, different types of responsive viewports, whether it's mobile or tablet or desktop, we'll have to resize the browser constantly to check these, or maybe we just check them at the end. But now what I'm able to do with this monitor is have all of them available at the same time. This allows me to essentially update my code and see the changes reflected on all screen viewports. And I know this next one might not be something that a lot of people do, but usually I have thousands of tabs in Chrome and Firefox open, especially at the end of the working day. And now I'm actually able to still see the names for all of them, which is really cool, and not something I could have done previously without so many pixels. In summary, the Samsung G9 Odyssey is amazing. I don't know if it makes me a better developer, because that's a subjective thing, but I definitely feel more productive. I feel like I'm able to focus in on my work a lot more. I definitely feel happier and like I'm finishing things sooner, which essentially is giving me some extra time. And therefore I'm able to maybe do some more stuff or even just grab a coffee, which is definitely important when you're doing a lot of work. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit like and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.